I was never able to successfully shake the phrase, left for dead, but worse, from my mind during my time with Earthfall. Admittedly, Valve is one of the toughest acts in all of gaming to follow, but every aspect of this co-op shooter falls short of its inspiration, and none of its depressingly few new ideas stood out as innovative or meaningful. But perhaps Earthfall's greatest shortcoming is the lack of replay value for its limited batch of levels. Fans all wheeled up. Let's get into the garage and finish the job. Earthfall sends a team of four players through ten mostly linear missions set in the aftermath of a cataclysmic alien invasion. You'll combat an unending onslaught of shambling alien drones and endure frequent attacks from the teamwork-inducing special enemies, most of whom are extremely derivative. Sappers explode, threshers pounce, and whiplashes whisk away teammates. Annoyingly, this trio spawns together at predictably regular intervals. The two disablers let loose an initial battle cry, but good luck keeping track of them after that, as they emit hardly any sound. As a result, getting pounced or grabbed feels unavoidable and obligatory. The two bosses are serviceable challenges, and while aesthetically distinct, the Beast and the Blackout are dealt with in much the same way. The one exception to this menagerie of monotony is the Super Fragile Enrager, which empowers smaller drones but tends to stay hidden. Hunting down and popping this shy alien balloon often proves to be a fun distraction from Earthfall's mostly repetitive mission structure. The phrase, this will attract a swarm, quickly became comical in its frequency and application, cranking a winch, opening a door, charging a car battery, and even downloading files onto a laptop invariably brought all the boys to the yard. To its credit, some missions successfully broke out of this tedious rut with exciting and unexpected finales. Notably, a train getaway and experimental weapon test stuck out as a pleasant surprise. Unfortunately, one lesson Earthfall didn't take from Left 4 Dead is that very few elements of its 10 missions are randomized, which leads to extremely repetitive experiences when you replay the same level. There will always be a sniper rifle in the first train car of radio silence, and the exterminator's van will always be the correct vehicle to inspect in Breakout. The few elements that are random, like enemy spawn locations, lack the variance to offer any meaningful replayability. Small shelters with 3D weapon printers and health stations are liberally scattered across the stages and will need to be powered up, which, you guessed it, attracts a swarm. These caches can also contain vital ammunition and grenades, as well as situationally useful barriers and turrets. 3D printing is so hot right now, and swapping weapons mid-mission is a welcome option, but in practice, I found myself using these stations functionally as ammo crates after developing clear favorites within the limited 10-gun arsenal. One of Earthfall's greatest strengths is the visual presentation of its firearms. The MP5X, for example, retains the classic real-world receiver, but its heavy modifications perfectly evoke the near-future sci-fi setting. In spite of this, shooting in Earthfall feels okay at best. Most weapons, especially shotguns, feel lacking in the punch department. In part, that's because vanquished aliens tend to anticlimactically slump or flop over instead of making a spectacle out of it. Location damage is always welcome, but when alien limbs detach, it sometimes reduces entire drones to an ugly, low-polygon torso. And perhaps worst of all, the reticle situation is an absolute mess. Aiming down sights causes a hit marker to appear over your weapon's iron sights whenever you aim at an enemy. Usually, hit markers are reserved for hitting an enemy. The marker slowly fades away when aiming at nothing and turns red whenever you score a hit. The end result is a sloppy and confusing series of reticles that succeed only in cluttering the sight picture and making Earthfall a less visceral shooter. Finally, the five missions in each of Earthfall's two campaigns provide a slight storyline when played sequentially, with the latter levels integrating some welcome new objectives which tie into the story nicely. Any of the missions can be played solo, with the derpy bots taking the place of players. Some missions took me as little as 15 minutes to complete on my first playthrough at what, for me, was a leisurely pace. At a very conservative estimate, assuming no wipes, all ten missions should take you no longer than four hours. In the absence of a versus mode, this is where Earthfall's limited random variables and subsequent poor replay value hurt the most. Cranking up the difficulty is always an option, but my one foray into the overwhelming difficulty mode didn't strike me as all that different from my experiences with regular. 
Parts of Earthfall present a certain charm, and the experience could certainly be fun with the right group of friends, but it's hard to get away from the fact that Earthfall is a lesser incarnation of a decade-old game, with fewer modes and missions at a higher price. For all things cooperative shooters, keep it right here on IGN.